Good morning, plant fam. Today is Sunday, August 15th. Um, I haven't been vlogging this month because I've just been super behind on other videos and um, just not, I just didn't have anything really interesting to vlog. So I do have some plant chores and stuff that I need to get done. I'm just having a bad morning. Which has been happening a lot lately, and I don't really know why. But, my first vlog that I did back in, like, June, I want to say, I had a whole, a whole part that I cut out where I was in bed crying, and, um... It's August and I'm still just like not okay. Um, obviously, like I'm, I'm happy, like happier than I've been in a long time. But my heart is also like still really broken. I was just watching some videos and some vlogs, and I've been having such a hard time keeping it to myself especially when I wake up in the morning I don't know why um it's like waking up and having to like realize everything that happened all over again and I'm just trying to heal from that and it's really hard when you're so in love with somebody and you thought that they were your person and that was it and um and then they go behind your back and they lie to you. I don't understand how somebody can do that to you. To me. To anybody. Like, how do you lie to somebody for that long? Knowing that they're in pain. Like. I've just never. Like, I've been in really messed up relationships. This was worse. Because I trusted him. And I thought that he was a good person and that he wouldn't do things like that to me. I just don't understand why he just kept dragging me along. Fucking fungus nuts, man. I can't stop shaking. I'll hold it with two hands. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just been hard. And um, I cut all of this out of my first vlog. And now it's months later and I'm still struggling. Um... Obviously, it gets better over time, but it's still really hard. I feel like there's just a lot to unpack and a lot to unravel. So that's my story in case you guys were wondering. Anyway, now you know. I have um, some stuff that I need to get done today, some repotting and things like that, but I'm, I'm probably going to film separate videos for that so my car is trash so I can't go too far but like for my mental health sometimes I just need to like go be in the greenhouse it's gonna be a good day so. I look tragic it's fine anyway hey plant fam I hope that you can hear me it's Monday August 17th I haven't seen you no, Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Did I say it was Monday? Well, today's Tuesday. I didn't end up picking up my care mat all yesterday or the day before. I just had those, those days where I was scrolling through Netflix and I was like, this movie looks like it's going to make me cry. I probably shouldn't watch it. And then the next thing I know, I clicked play and I was watching it. So, I don't know. I've just been in a weird headspace, but um, I have some things to get done today, including packaging up some plants. I thought that maybe it would be fun to show you guys a little bit of that process, and then I was thinking about running over to Rosedale and seeing if they had anything going on. If they do, you guys would have already seen it in another video but I figured I would just take you along kind of like on my day a little behind the scenes 
nonsense. I'm going to get to packaging up this plant. Here's my helper. I gotta sniff everything. This is the Raffordophora Hayi rooted starter plant that I'm sending to somebody. It's got this little runner coming off of it, so they're definitely, definitely, they're definitely gonna wanna put a piece of wood here and allow it to grow. The leaves aren't gonna come in quite as big at first, but they will definitely continue to get bigger and bigger, especially if you put it on some wood. So yeah, that's my story. I purchased these little boxes on Amazon. They're cute, simple little white boxes. So all I did was put a sheet of tissue paper in the box, and then I'm going to take some polyfill and just create like a nice little cushion for the plant so that it doesn't get damaged. And then all I do from here is take some tissue paper and I'm just going to roll the plant up in the paper. So I went ahead and wrapped like more polyfill around this plant just because it, it was kind of spilling over the edges of the cup a little bit and I want to make sure that those leaves are protected. And then literally I'm just going to roll this up. Um, it's hard to do with one hand because I want to make sure that the paper stays rolled, but that's basically what I'm going to do. So now I have my rolled up plant here. Obviously, if I had more foliage, then I would be going about this differently and making sure that I was using like a, a stiffer paper to create a structure to kind of protect the leaves if that makes sense so i added extra tissue paper to the sides of the plant so it doesn't move you can also tape it down i just find that that's difficult to get out and then i just close this make it look a little prettier make my thank you card and close her on up Okay fam, so we left the house. I just left the post office, dropped off the package. So that's all done. And now I think I'm gonna head over to Rosedale and Home Depot and see if they have anything exciting going on. Oh, it's a train. <laughs> train stations right here, can you see it? This is my hometown. There's a train station right here and there's a freight train going through so yeah anyway <laughs> sweet baby jesus i'm sweating in this car Okay fam, so I didn't vlog any in there because they actually were fully stocked. I picked up a really beautiful philodendron mikan that you have seen already. So I was grateful that it was nice and quiet back there. No copyright music. So I will link that video for you guys up here to watch because as weird as this is, you're not going to be watching this until the one I just filmed is already edited and up. So I don't know. Filming is weird like that sometimes. And now we are going to head on over to Home Depot before I melt in this car. There's no sun out, but yet, like, I'm literally 
sweating to death. I'm glad I didn't put any foundation on because it literally would have just melted off of my face. So, you get my acne today. Let's go to Home Depot. Let's go. So they didn't have anything like I anticipated and we are going to head back home now. Also, this is my um, shirt from Boardwalk t-shirts in case you want to go pick one up. It says Frankenstein's Monstera. It's kind of, it's kind of clever. So I will leave you guys the discount code for 10% off. It's just Jacqueline's Jungle and I will leave the link for you in the description box below if you want to check out their stuff. So I'm going to go for real this time y'all. Okay. Hey fam, so today is Wednesday, August 18th. Don't mind my towel and my busted face. I just got done filming a couple of videos for you guys and I don't know. I figured I'd vlog a little bit. I'm exhausted right now. I'm just like doing laundry and cleaning up around here doing all the things that I don't feel like doing today <laughs> but it's fine because David will be here tonight and then we are leaving early tomorrow morning to head to Long Beach Island for a couple of days. Yeah I'm just getting some planty chores done and I thought maybe I would give you a couple of updates on some of my plants. I was dealing with the thrips. It's not something to sing about. It's awful. Since then, I have been seeing like some adults pop up. I did two rounds of Captain Jack's on most of my plants. And then I put out those 
eggs for the predatory lacewing bugs or whatever. I don't know if any of them are hatching, but I've been laying off spraying anything with the Captain Jacks just in case they do because I found out that it's just better to make sure the plant is clean so that any bug that they're consuming doesn't have the stuff in it because like it'll kill them too. So like essentially if the thrip eats the Captain Jacks and then the good bug eats the thrip, then they're also ingesting the Captain Jacks and then that'll kill them too. So we don't want that to happen. So I've just been holding off on the Captain Jacks and I've been inspecting some plants. I've been seeing some larva and like eggs and stuff here and there for sure and I'm just kind of wiping down the leaves and trying to keep them clean. Like I said, I've seen a few adults but not many. I put out blue sticky traps instead of yellow ones. I mean, I sell the yellow ones out too, but the blue ones are supposed to attract the thrips. There's attracting fungus gnats like still, but fungus gnat population has definitely took a big hit from the mosquito bits that I've put into most of the plants now. So definitely recommend those if you haven't tried it. I am not mad at the results. I've tried cinnamon too. The cinnamon seems to be working really well just to like for plants that were getting like moldy and mildewy on the top of the soil. I put some cinnamon and I haven't been having that problem anymore. So I even used some on top of some moss because when you leave moss in propagation containers for a little while sometimes it starts to like turn green and get like moldy and gross so I put a little sprinkle of cinnamon on some of those too and it seems to be working fine it's not harming the plants they're still rooting super happy so yeah that is my update let me get up <sighs> I don't want to <laughs> and um show you guys some of the plants that I had that were affected by the thrips pretty badly but otherwise everything else is seeming to be pretty okay so let's see over here I swear I keep a bunch of plants obviously I don't know why I felt the need to say that but I do have like some damage for sure you can tell on this calathea from the thrips I don't see any eggs or anything but you can see they definitely did their damage on this plant and then you can see some damage here not I'm not seeing any like actual eggs so that's good but they definitely already did their damage to this babe unfortunately and to my neon pothos they seem to really like so I do wipe down these leaves like once a week even if it's just with warm water and I have like a mi microfiber cloth here that I keep for my plants so I think that helps keep them at bay for sure and I just try to remove any leaves that look like really super duper damaged like this one's on its way out anyway so I don't feel bad just like tossing it and then the begonia seems fine but let me get up here these were the plants that seemed to be most affected like my tetrasperma she's still looking shiny I need to wipe her down but she seems to be doing okay the new growth is coming in and it's not wonky it's just hitting the ceiling sorry i got cut off so i was saying that the new growth is coming in fine it's just hitting the ceiling but otherwise like it doesn't look damaged to me that's a good sign i am gonna have to clip that and root it and just like repot it because I lost most of the leaves down here but I mosquito bitted the crap out of this one they loved this plant for some reason and I don't know why I think it's like just the bigger plants they just they hold on to the moisture longer in the big pot and the fungus gnats just love it so those have definitely helped a lot I mean, I'm touching it and I don't see anything flying out. So like that is a big improvement. And then my Adansonii 
was deeply affected by the thrips. I have like one of those egg things hanging here for the lace wings, but I don't know if they're hatching. So I had to remove a bunch of leaves. This is what's left. I'm upset because this plant was finally maturing and getting like midrib fenestrations and then the thrips just kind of like did their thing. But these are new and as you can see, they look good, no damage. They're not coming in wonky and curly, so that is a good sign. Also, mosquito bitted the hell out of this. Here's one of the blue stickies, but it's got mostly um, fungus gnats on it. There's really only a very small amount of adult thrips that I see going on there. This is my Monstera Peru. I just lost another leaf here. It looks like it's trying to grow something. So, I don't know. I really struggle with this plant, but we're hoping that it just gets its act together soon. And then my Decursiva seems to be doing all right over here too. I don't know if I'm going to keep it here. It's just there for now. Unfortunately, I did lose my last leaf of my vanilla orchid. Just didn't want to make it. It's totally just done and I'm upset about it because I really liked it but it is what it is that's my story for right now I don't know why I'm still wearing these I was watching YouTube videos while I was cleaning I just figured I'd give you guys a little bit of an update I will do another video on like pest prevention and care and stuff like that like I've mentioned before but I figured I would just give you a quick little update now as well and let you know that I do think that the Captain Jacks was super effective. You just have to keep doing it. Like you can't just do it once and then be done with it. I definitely it. plan on continuing to use the Captain Jacks. I, again, like I said, thought it was very effective. I have different things and different methods that I'll use depending on what pest I have and what plant it's on. So that's why I wanna do a separate video on that. So. Let me know in the comments below if that's something that you're interested in seeing and I will definitely bump it up on the list of videos that I have planned out because I've been trying to do three a week now so it's a little bit more work and I have everything kind of like pre-planned out so if there's something that you guys want to see just let me know and I will bump it up on the list. You feel me? Okay so I feel like that's pretty much it for right now. I'm gonna finish packing up and getting my stuff ready. Hopefully we're gonna have a nice sunny beach vacation because there's like a tropical storm coming up this way right now. I don't know what its name is. I can't keep up with all the names, but um, yeah. I'm excited to go see my family for a few days and take my boyfriend with me. Poor guy. Thinks I'm a lot. <laughs> until he spends a few days with my whole family. No, we have a good time. So hopefully I'll be able to show you guys some of that and do some plant shopping at some point in time. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys soon. Hey, plant fam. What is today? Thursday? Sure. No, seriously, what's today? No, Thursday, I don't August know. 19th. Anyway, we're in Long yeah. Beach Island and um, just wanted to say hi. Hey. And let you know what's going on. We're going to watch ourselves. you ride a bike. Oh, dear How long God. has it been since you rode a bike? It's been a while. <laughs> Should be fun. It's two wheels. Go ahead, I want to watch you. No, no, no. Where'd you go? I was trying to get you in the frame, Chief. No, I'm here. Go ahead. Let me see you. Do a wheelie. I'm gonna go straight into this Mazda. Will it fit in my Mazda? <laughs> You're gonna have to tell them that story now. It is a good story. Shit, that's bright.
What? Say hey plant fam. Uh-huh. Say hey plant fam. What's plant fam? Just say it. They hate plant fam. No, no hey, say hey. Hey plant fam. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted a cut of that. We look like significantly darker than we did it's just fine. before. So anyway, today is Friday, August 20th. We are in Manahawken, Manahawken. New Jersey. We just left mm. LBI and of course there's Lowe's and Home Depot on the way out. So I made him stop at Lowe's. And then we're gonna go to Home Depot. So. I had to make three rights to turn left. Yeah, which I'm surprised because like you're from Jersey. Because so. New Jersey. Yeah. I didn't know why. That was so difficult. <laughs> anyway, I'm really tired. Let's go see. Let's go look at plants. Let's go see what they have in Lowe's. Yes, we got this. In yeah. Manahawken. Manahawken. <gasps> I always want to say Weehawken. That's another town in Jersey, right? Like, yeah. Weehawken. Yeah, Weehawken. They have like the Hoboken. weirdest town names. Or no, Pennsylvania has the weirdest town names. Well, yeah, because you can go to Intercourse or Blue Ball or Bird in Hand. <laughs> bird in Hand? Yeah, that's another like one. Like Bird in Hand? Sure. <laughs> it's fine. We're good. Let's go. Let's see. Uh, obviously. Whatever. At least the plants are getting watered because they don't water them enough, you know? And copyright music. Run down under. Okay fam, coming at you with a little bit of a voiceover, I found this beautiful philodendron with the Thai sunrise variegation on it. Unfortunately, when I propagated mine, the variegation didn't seem to come back yet, so I'm hesitant to want to buy another one because I have this big full basket of it with no variegation, so then it's just a lemon lime or it's a something goddess i'm not sure anyway i liked their little setup there they had some cute little manjulas and then otherwise they were fully stocked with your basic plants that we've been seeing everywhere so some trending tropicals we had lots of birkins lots of zz ravens Lots of croton, obviously, it's that time of year. I love the way the ZZ Raven comes in green and then it starts to fade to black. It looks really cool when it's kind of in between like that. Some fiddles. I found some more Raphidophora hay eyes. I haven't been seeing too much of these. And like the Truby eyes too. I don't know why it, certain plants, they hit the market super saturated and then i don't see them again as opposed to the zz's where they just never go away they're always there and that's fine i just don't know who's buying them like i've said a thousand times because i feel like everybody who wants a zz raven already has one and if you're out there and you're watching this and you want a zz raven and you can't find one i apologize i am more than happy to send you one i think costa farms sells them and ships them from their website though as well so that's always an option. They had some cute little hanging pothos. I've been seeing the most massive golden pothos pop up in the big box stores. I'm sorry for the creaking in the background. My cat just came in the door. Hi, baby. What are you doing? You hungry? <laughs> He's whining. So it's lunchtime here. I just wanted to pop in and say hi and narrate just a little bit of some of this and then we're gonna be doing a whole lot more big box shopping so sit tight and stay tuned 
for the rest of this video. I hope that you enjoy it. They have a bunch of floor plants over there. Let's see what they have. Let's go to Home Depot. Let's go. I was just curious what's in here. You know, I get excited when I see new racks of plants, but it literally just looks like my worst nightmare. <laughs> get fresh <wrecked> spider plants. <laughs> a bunch of spider plants coming out. I mean, they're cute. Don't get me wrong. I just, I would have to cut all of those off. I have no desire for that. Yeah, I don't know what these are. But hey, look at this fiddle. $89. Hey, fiddle fiddle. Yeah, I did. Lots of snake plants. Oh man, this looks sad. Sure. Yeah, I mean the Lowe's had a nice selection though. Mm. But I don't know. We're gonna go head back to New York. I don't really know where this vlog is going from there, but that's the plan. It's like pretty this Home Depot. Like, where did I say we were? Paramus. Paramus. We have to pee, so Figured we'd see if they have plants too. We're gonna go to Metropolitan because it's right here. Mm -hmm. Haven't taken you guys there in a while, so see what they have. This is impossible right now. The hair, my hair is just like this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, plant fam. <laughs> it's good. I can't even see the screen. It always smells weird <laughs> oh, where the pesticides are. No, I'm telling you, it's all yeah. the chemicals and stuff. The Roundup bullshit. It's That'll kill than, you. This is the weirdest setup I've ever seen. Okay fam, just stopping in to say hello again really quickly. This Home Depot in, what did I say we were? Paramus? was set up really weird the greenhouse or like the house plants i guess were like all the way in the back to the side it took us a little while to figure out where they were and it really wasn't that worth it because they didn't have anything as you can see but there is the metropolitan plant exchange i believe is what it's called over here in paramus i've taken you guys there before it's been a while so we are going to head over there next and they have most of their stuff labeled. So I'm just going to put some music on, let him dance for you, and we will see you there. Oh, and these petonias were blooming. I don't think I've ever seen a petonia bloom before, but yeah. Anyway, okay, Metropolitan time. Metropolitan. <laughs> That's not what it is. I'm no.
<laughs> what is this? You're good, you're funny if you think I'm gonna cut that out.
Do you need a, a flannel with some eyes on it? And teach me how to play. That's <laughs> good. What is that face? <laughs> oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's the spot, the paw. Mm -hmm. Cute. Why are you so cute? <laughs> All right, now you're just showing off. <laughs> You're the one who always wants to go to Barnes and Noble. Troll beads? What is that even? Oh, that would make sense. But like, do trolls make it? Yes. Trolls making jewelry. <laughs> Say hi. 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 How's it going? We're trying to enjoy some nice weather before the hurricane tomorrow. <laughs> it's Saturday, August 21st. Oh. I think so. I think it's the 21st. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm supposed to get my Google deposit today. Boom. <laughs> we were just chilling at a little cafe. We went to get work done, but we didn't really get any work done, so. That's fine. So we ended up coming to Moose Gorillos. Ooh, I dropped that. Moose Gorillos. Like a moose? Yeah, I don't know why I always feel. I don't know. When I say the same word over and over again, I feel like I have to change it to make it more interesting. I can't just keep saying Moose Gorillos. Moose Gorillos. Moose Gorillos. Moose Gorillos. We're really tired. Yeah. So we're going to see if they have anything new. And exciting. Maybe and they'll have plants. Maybe. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's a greenhouse. It's a so. pretty good possibility. Oh, I hope so. Maybe they'll have some new Hoyas that aren't like sad AF. Lol. A girl can hold. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go see what they have. Yeah. We'll check out their pots after, but it doesn't look like they have anything new yes. in the pot department pit. <laughs> I don't know. And <laughs> the next gardener said they were sending me sun so we'll see yes well this is good they have some plants like right here some audrey's oh yeah the altissimas are really pretty look yeah they're big how much are they though probably too much Ninety dollars. <laughs> 36 yeah i mean i've been seeing these pop up in the big box stores they just don't look as good this is beautiful. Mm. Nice and big. 45. I'd pay 45 for that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Some more thickus. I've been seeing ones that are like super creamy and it makes me really jealous. Mm -hmm. I want mine to get creamy like that. Okay, some lilies. Let's see. Stromanth. Stromanthy. These are pretty, they just get crispy and then they don't look so pretty anymore. Mm -hmm. But they're in the same family. 
um, as like calatheas and marantas, so the leaves come in the way I think is cool. I see some lipstick plants up there. What? Chonky. Mm -hmm. Still have a couple of deshidias down here. No, because nobody wants to buy them. Oh, forty dollars for this string of turtles. These are fifty, right? Yeah, they're not looking all that. I mean, that one's got some new. No, yours looks good though. Yeah. Take care of my plants. I take care of my plants. <laughs> Um, there's just begonias and stuff over there. I want to see what's over here. I saw some hanging plants, lots of Brazil, and then some Aeschinanthus lipstick plants. 46. Oh, don't scare it. Hi. I like these lilies. Look how pretty. Mm -hmm. That's a really cool leaf. Is it not? What's with that? It's either like. It looks like it got damaged when it was unfurling. Yeah? Yeah. Or a bug with OCD. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That looks mechanical to me. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Um. I feel like I always go the same direction when I come in here, so we'll go a different way. Aglionimas. Morphicus. Mm -hmm. I think this is a hope. I can't tell them apart. Snake <laughs> Okay, I don't know where to go from here. Let's go back this way. And then up. Okay. Like sure. Yeah. Whatever you say. Onward. These philodendrons are pretty. Oh, that one's nice. Oh, that one that we saw, somebody said it was called a Sansevieria yellow stone. Hmm. It looks like a combination of like this one and this one. Right. Like together. It's weird, but I liked it, and I, I tried to find a little one online, but I don't need any snake plants right now. This is my favorite, Dracaena, with the different colors. See, I've been seeing a lot of tetraspermas like this coming in at the big box stores with these narrow-ass leaves. This is not a full dungeon No, because that's not a thing. <laughs> It's a tetrapod. Yeah, I don't know. I've been seeing them like this. Weird. Do you think there's like a Country. narrow form? Like Is this doesn't. This looks weird. Thing, like this no. no, that's just what they call tetrasperma. Huh? They'll call them mini philodendron mini monstera, and I'm like, it can't be two different. Right. It can't be a philodendron and a monstera. Those are two different. Genera, genera, genera. I don't know, however you want to say it. Oh wow, that's sad. So sad. They've got lots of sad strings of things mm -hmm. in here. You know it's sad when mine look better and I've, how many have I killed? Oh, snap. That's big. That's like a tree. We can get one of those and put ornaments on it. Who needs a Christmas tree? <laughs> Except that a Christmas cactus is a schlumberger. Schlumberger. Yeah, because nobody wants to buy them for $40. I don't know. Mine didn't do well. It's mostly dead. I only have like a little cutting left that's rooting. Some little baby Chelsea's that don't look terrible for 15. This one's cute. These are dying of thirst. They're getting too much sun. Do you see how they're getting? Okay, so certain Hoyas will get really beautifully sun stressed and then other ones will get sun bleached. Right. So you have to be careful. So even under like my Mars Hydro, 
There are certain ones that I'll have to move out from underneath it because they're not getting sun stressed, they're getting sun bleached. Mm. So that's why it's kind of been like an experiment yeah. for what is happy under there and what is getting... This has been here for so long, it has all these new leaves. <clears throat> I'm serious. Last time I was here, I was like, how does that damage happen? And then it has all these new leaves since then. Mm. Yeah, these little Chelsea's are cute, but I paid like like nine dollars for one like this. For yeah, I mean, a friend. This this shouldn't be for No, I mean it definitely could be worse. These are so sad. They just look like it's depressing. Yeah, <laughs> that leaf will probably die though. This one's the only cute one. Yeah. I like that leaf. Nice. Yeah, that's why I got this one here. They they flubbed the oh. the tag and it only said four ninety nine instead of fourteen ninety nine mm -hmm. and I was like, Well uh, I mean that's just the price you put on it, so yeah. I mean that's the reason I'm gonna pay for it, right? It is pretty. Yeah. This is the way Eddie eye, and then that's the Shepherdy eye that's dying over there. <laughs> I'm gonna do a video like on the differences between the two. Yeah. It's a way Eddie eye, yeah. and whether or not a, a Kentiana is a thing, hmm. and if it's just a variegated way Eddie eye. I don't know. Hmm. So yeah. many Hoya species. There's Pepperomi. Pepperomioides. Pepperomioides. This is my favorite one, but I can't keep it alive because I mm. like the marble yeah. pattern on it. That was one of my first house plants. What were those things called that I was trying to remember the name of? The cookies that you dunk in the... Pureline? Pureline? Pureline. Pureline. Isn't it Pureline? No. Pureline? I don't know. P-I-R-O-U-L-I-N-E. That's what these remind me of. I think yes. that's why I like them so it much. Does look like a I need a chocolate cookie. <laughs> well, we bought cookies. <laughs> Maranta. These philodendrons are really, really beautiful. Look at how big the leaves are. Oh, look, they've got a bunch of homolaminas. So I had one and it. I couldn't keep it happy. Even my mom, my mom was watering it, like over watering it, cause that's what she does. And I think they just need a ton of humidity, honestly. I wanted the green one first, remember? Cause I wanted the other one, the Selby, that looks mm -hmm. like camouflage. <laughs> it got mixed in. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> but I couldn't keep the green one alive, so I'm definitely not gonna get the more expensive one. Yeah, these are pearls and jade because they have the speckles in the creamy bits. That's pearls and jade. It is. It just looks so different. Yeah, that's why people get them so confused because hmm. they can vary so much. And then when you get a leaf that's just like this, right. it looks like enjoy. And then there's one called glacier that people argue if that's the same as the enjoy or if it's a different plant altogether because hmm. the leaf shape looks different but we know that it can still be the same plant and the leaf shape can be vastly different from plant to plant. This one's pretty. Mm -hmm. So who knows? Who knows? Who actually knows? There's nobody in here and I can't breathe, so. Yeah, these Altissimas. Mm. Wow. These are stunning. I love the color on them. I can't get Dyphenbachias because the cat will eat them. Oh, it's, no good. it's like he knows that they're toxic, it's so he good. goes right for it. The toxic ones are tasty. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> so that video should be up by now too. My pet safe plants. I like the heart this leaf. Is so weird. Yeah, I like these ferns. Good. I bought this one early on in my plant parenthood as well and I killed it of course because it's a fern but they're supposed to be hardier than other ferns I mean they have like a, a thick stem and the leaves are pretty hardy so I'll probably try again one day 
Yeah, because I like them. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. I love the way all these cacti and euphorbia look lined up here. They're so pretty, aren't they? I love euphorbias. Can't go wrong no. with the euphorb. Look at this thing. Yeah. Well, let's look at these. I see some astrophytum. Twenty-two, yeah. I'm always looking for like the more rare ones because I already have all the super common ones. They get really cool looking. All right. Do to do do. Do to do do. Well, they have more sad dishidias. Some more aglionemas. And then the overpriced alocasias down there that nobody wants to buy. They're still here because nobody wants them. And somehow they look sad as ever. Who in their right mind would pay almost $70 for a black velvet? You can get one at Home Depot for like 12 bucks if you like <laughs> stake the place out. Urban Jungle was releasing them. Oh, really? Yeah, but even still, I got one at Rosedale for like, how much did I pay for it? Like, I don't even think it was $20. It was it's less than that. Dragon Scale for 90 When I bought it here, it was 60 Look at that new leaf. I love the undersides, so they're so pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They start to get like that different coloring on them as they get bigger. There's no more silver dragons though. They probably all died. Oh no, there's a few dying ones. Okay, mine looks way better than this at least. This makes me feel better. Mine's actually doing pretty well. I need to do my alocasia video. Mmm, pitcher plants. How much are those? Yeah. Uh, I feel like it's still too big for the pot that That's I have. Pot. Yeah. Is really what does a girl got to do for a small? That's why I want to put mine in the self-watering pot. Because, yeah, they're bog yeah, plants, they so they want to live. That one's, like, submerged too much. Mm. That shouldn't be all the way in there. You should just put it next to that one on the rock. Such good plant people. They're so cute. Yeah, there's more back there. Are there any smaller ones? Oh my god, this leaf. No, those are the same size. Some begurniers. Oh man, I really want to buy a plant. I'm like in the mood to buy a plant, but I can't unless it's one that like I really need. Oh, these are the other alocasias. Oh, look at the variegated one. It's so pretty. 135. Wow, look at the stems though. It's so pretty. Look at how pretty these are. Mm. This leaf is like basically just all cream. Mm -hmm. that'll die. Yeah, that'll definitely die. Um, I don't know what type of alocasia this is. I think this is the one Bill sent me a picture of. Pink, Pink dragon. dragon. Looks like something I would kill. Yeah. I don't know, it doesn't make me go wow right. that I would like need to have it. There's some Maharani's over here. I like these. Maharani? 32? Yeah, that's neat. Yeah, that's yeah, this was my first jewel allocation that I got. Right. And it's still one of my favorites. And then this one is the um, Louder Bakiana. 
Okay. I always say louder Bakia, louder Bakiana. I don't know. It's cool. But this is also one of those ones that I would kill. I like the jewel alocasias because the, their leaves are thicker, they're hardier, yeah. easier for me to care for. This looks like something I would kill and something that I certainly don't need to spend $40 on. This is really pretty. This is really pretty. This would look really nice in your, in your space. Any cute air plants? I need a new Xerographica. It'll be the third one, and then hopefully I won't kill that one. I want a little one, but I want it to be pictures, not the Venus flytrap. Like, I want the, the other ones, because I find them more effective. Okay. Cute little box. Hmm? Hmm? That is cute. Don't look at them for too long, they might die. <laughs> It doesn't look like they have any new pots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, these are nice. Mm. I don't like the colors, but they're nice. This guy's weird looking. I want to like go to like a, another plant store because I want to buy a plant. Why is that a thing? You need a plant to make me happy. I don't know, we need to do big box shopping. I'm like in a separate video anyway. Mm. Okay, bye. So that's like not a no on today, right? Right. Going to a big box store? I don't need to. You even just called it the crappy Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> I Why would mean, I want to go there? Yeah. I look like the Hot Mass Express. Let's just go back then. Yeah. Yeah, I have some stuff that I need to unbox, so we can do that. And then, I don't know. I don't know where this vlog is going from there, <laughs> so. Somewhere. We're just, we're just gonna it's go. It's gonna home. be fine. Yeah. I'm gonna go this way. Everything is fine. Everything is awesome. Yeah. Don't sing the song. Mm. Okay, so we're back, and I have stuff, I don't know, I guess I'll do the shirts first. I got some shirts from a company called Piper and Ivy. They wanted to send me some stuff, and honestly, I forgot what, ooh, there's pins. Buttons. And, and stickers. See what they're about. The fabric feels nice, so this one says Plant Lady. This one's cute, right? Oh, that is cute. Put it on. You are a plant lady. I am a plant lady. I like the colors. That's cute. That's nice. Yeah, I need to fold up. I've been folding up the sleeves, and I like the look. It is soft. I like it. I think they're cotton. Made in U.S. 90% cotton, 10% polyester. Can I show the paper? Yes, you can. Stickers for my water bottle. They're not gonna focus. <laughs> How many hands can we put in this at one time? Yeah, not all their stuff is plant related. But they also, have like book stuff too. It's book o'clock. I don't know why they sent me book stuff. <laughs> I don't read books. I don't know. And then this one says, sorry, I have plants this weekend. <laughs> I thought this one was like, <laughs> it suited me. Let's try this one on. They're really soft. Yep. I don't remember what size I got. Medium. They fit good for a medium. I think they're unisex. They're both medium. You want to wear the plant lady shirt? <laughs> if you look small totally on you. Down. 100% down. Okay, this one's cute. I like this one for sure. So soft. Good for introverts. Okay, and then I've got. Stop. Are you petting me? Yes, yes. Um, Stacy over at SL Handmade Soaps. I'm gonna drop it. Yeah, I probably need a plant. Yeah, I don't need your hands. 
<laughs> need you to not drop the soap. <laughs> um, I will leave her Etsy down below as well as um, the link to this company. I don't have any codes or anything. They just wanted to send me shirts. So this is Stacy makes her own soap. So I was like, hey, I like soap. And she was like, you could try some. Oh, cute. I don't know what kind it is. Does it, I can't smell anything. Can you smell anything? Mm. I don't remember. Okay, here's a little note. It smells like chocolate. Pumpkin spice, a special what blend of it? cinnamon, cardamom, and nutmeg. Or chocolate. I don't know, but I'm excited to try it. it. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so Piper and Ivy has a code. I'll leave it for you guys. It's 15% off. It's not a code for me. It's not an affiliate thing or anything. It's just 15% off for you. So it smells really good. Yeah. All right. So good looks. I think that's it for this vlog. I feel like I have like a lot, a lot of footage. Oh, I smell the pumpkin spice. Yeah. Mm, just in time for fall. Oh boy. You know, and if anybody likes books like and you want some pins, um, let me know. I'll send them to you. <laughs> so yeah, that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It's kind of been a roller coaster. I was like really emotional in the beginning, and then I don't even know what we did after that. Some plant shopping in there. There's plant shopping in there. Lots of things. So hopefully you stuck around to the end. If you did, leave me a soap emoji. There's a soap emoji. There's the soap emoji. It's like pink, I think. It's like a little pink bar oh. of soap, oh. right? There's got to be a soap emoji. It's like a Fight Club thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> I don't know why I always do that. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. Go follow him if you want to. His channel will be down there somewhere <laughs> <laughs> if you read books right. he wrote one go get your book i did go <laughs> get your book yeah. yeah show the people your book that you wrote and here's the book that i wrote yeah yeah if you guys like to read in case i haven't told you i'm telling you now he wrote a book tell it's them what it's book. about you can put me on the spot with that yes. it's like the most difficult thing to do it's a supernatural fiction story about a guy that does stuff. That's a that's a really good, terrible. At this. That's a good description. It's just a, it's a really cool psychological supernatural world, and this dude is going through all sorts of things, and he's got this whole adventure, and there's some mystery, and there's some other stuff. Some fun characters in yep. there. Yeah. I almost just choked on my own <laughs> saliva. <laughs> it's fine. He's been writing the second one. I've been trying to. Yeah. No, you're you're writing it. You have words. It's called writing. <laughs> is it, is it, is it really? Like, I'm getting off on a technicality. <laughs> so definitely like. grab that if you guys are interested. Just in check it out on Amazon. It's on Amazon. The cat's making the... <laughs> <laughs> you're on the cat tree. Yeah. Maybe like I'm at home filming off the cat right. tree. Right. There's a cat above you yeah. right now. Anyway, we're going to go. Okay. So... Hope that you enjoyed this vlog that was kind of all over the place, but it's the best kind. more to come because <laughs> that's how we are all over the place. All right. Yep. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> you really do look like you're wearing something.